Hi, I'm Blade Ashby, and I'm at Tootingbeck Athletics Track, located at the edge of Wandsworth on Tootingbeck Common, sharing a border with Lambeth. It is home to an athletics club, which was established more than 120 years ago. You know, it is a, an individual sport as well as a team sport, so you, know, you get out of it what you put in. A great proportion of the time being an athlete is very frustrating. This is Hernhill Harriers Athletics Club. Um, I think the main thing that it offers the local community is a place for kids to go, <laughs> to be honest. Um, like obviously there's a lot of street crime in South London and uh, instead of being out and about just wandering around, um, from about 6 till 9 o'clock they could be at the Athletics Track Tuesday and Thursday for my group. And I think there's other days for other groups, training and you know, really working hard, making good friends there and you know, it's having a good social time. They do offer um, coaching um, expertise, um, they do offer a couple of um, stuff like they get to go to events like street athletics to help out and stuff like that. From what I believe, Jeff, um, our team manager, doesn't get paid for the job he does and he organises all the trips, um, the matches, hotels, um, books the coaches and things like that so as far as I know he's not paid for it so but I do know the club has quite a few volunteers. Where does the funding come from? I am not sure where the funding comes from I would assume it would be the local council um, but yeah <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Hernhill Harris was founded on Milkwood Road, Hernhill in 1889 since then, it has gained national, county and international success with its athletes individually and as a team. From the point of view of coaching, um, you know, you're there to coach whoever is there on that day to achieve their, whatever their potential is. And if you can achieve, help them achieve that potential, whatever their, their targets are, then, you know, that's very satisfying. Um, equally, if you can coach someone up to national level or beyond, that's equally very, very satisfying. But um, from my personal view as secretary, obviously the club's in probably the best position we've ever been in our history, and that's satisfying to think that you've played a part in that. No, it's not. We have um, Lambert, Wandsworth, Southwark, Merton, even people far and wide normally comes and join the club. I had people from Hastings training with me because really I was a South of England coach at one stage and people from all over the country was training with me. Essex, um, North London, they were coming and training here and some of them did join the club so it was very good. The head coaches at Hernhill Harriers can usually be found at Tootingbeck Athletics Track on training nights and Sunday mornings. Covering all events from sprints to cross country, long jump to pole vault, you'll be spoilt for choice if you have no immediate preference of events. Uh, in my opinion, track and field athletics is, has become more popular. Um, normally in the winter months, we kind of, we, our, our guys kind of drop out and you get a load of people come in the summer and they drop out over the winter but because of the Olympics I believe that some of those people have stayed on to try and fulfill whatever goal they want to achieve. Some, some people just want to do everything on a small scale, some people want to do it on a large scale and yeah I think it's just really positive. I think it's grown but I, I, I couldn't tell you exactly if it's grown or not. What do I think makes track and field so popular? Mainly the Olympics that have just gone. I've noticed after that it's got a lot more popular, a lot more people know about it and a lot pe more people start participating. And also it's just a fun sport that anybody can get involved in. Uh, yeah, London 2012 was obviously huge and uh, you know, people thoroughly enjoyed that and you know, enjoyed the British success and uh, yeah, that, that's certainly one of the things that has increased the popularity. I think what makes track and field popular is the excitement. I think um, you know, seeing people running at optimum speed is quite exciting. Um, 
Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's the, you know, the will to win, I think makes it very exciting. I um, genuinely think, yeah, I do think that it did help actually um, give more aspirations to the youngsters as well. Um, seeing the um, Great British team perform so, um, perform so well as well. Um, yeah, so they performed really well, so obviously it did actually give everyone else to go, I'd like to do that as well, you know. I've got a strength in that field, um, so I'd like to pursue that. And they've got, they went into the different clubs and teams around the nation, um, and that has shown through as well. The Hernhill senior men's team are at the top of their game. Producing the best standard of athletics since their debut in 1983, they were awarded with promotion to the Premiership, an aggregation of the top eight teams in the UK. One of my main roles is British League team manager, which is our flagship men's team, uh, our top team in the top division of the uh, British Athletics League, uh, which is the Premiership, a bit like the Premiership in uh, football, uh, I guess. Uh, I also do a bit of coaching and uh, quite a bit of other work around the club as well, all, all voluntary stuff and uh, all very enjoyable and rewarding. Um, Hyneal has helped me in, a, in, a, in loads of ways in terms of when I was a kid um, I used to, I was looking for a club I could join which was local to me and I was recommended by Linford Christie and it was a program that he runs called Street Athletics which got me into Hyneal and they've really helped dramatically in terms of my performance and the coaches as well. Yeah, I think what appeals to people is that you know it is a an individual sport as well as a team sport. So you know you get out of it what you put in, and uh, you know if you're good at it, you know you get your own personal rewards as well as uh, you know obviously there are the team aspects of it as well, and uh, you know that that reward is you know knowing that you've helped the team as well as helping yourself. With my time here at Two Team Back Athletics Track coming to a close, it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope you learned a lot about your local athletics club and what it's doing to help young aspiring athletes. Thanks for watching. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your name? My name is Earl Thomas. Thomas, okay. And uh, what, what's your relationship with uh, Andy Harris? Well, I got two of my boys, two of my sons, Blade Ashby. Sorry, 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 I interrupted you. Sorry, hang on. What is your relationship with uh, Andy Harris? Well, I've got two of my boys, Blade Ashby and Thomas Ashby, run for Hernil Harris. So that's where the relationship part comes in. Um, what do you think makes track and field so popular? Because it's an individual sport and I think people get... <laughs> Start again, cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look coming with the car. <laughs> it's an individual sport. I'll, I'll ask a full question. Yeah, I see. Uh, yes. I think it makes it popular. I think it makes it popular because it's an individual sport.
and the individual will, individuals will get the glory other than football where the whole team gets the glory. What do you think uh, the club offers the local community of Wandsworth and Adams? That I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, we, we, we don't have to answer that. Right. Um, do you know where the funding for this club comes from? I think, I think the funding for this club comes from some businesses and partly the government. It's not a test, no, there's no wrong answer. <laughs> right, um, has the club benefited you in any way? The club hasn't benefited me in any way, but I think it benefited my kids because they did. Cut. Benefited my kids because. Start again, start again. Yeah. Has the club benefited you in any way? No, the club hasn't benefited me in any way, but I think it bene it benefited my kids. Start again. No, the club hasn't benefited me in any way, but I think it, it benefited my kids because they got to do the athletics with the club. Um, does the, the club have any volunteers? Yes, I think the club are volunteers. Anyone in particular? Steve? Stan? <laughs> um, uh, just how good are the athletes and the coaches at Home Paris? I think the athletes and the, co the co I think the coaches and the athletes are very good because they are No, was it because you were going out shop? Right. Uh, Is it good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, start again. Because you know, you move them. Yeah, but okay. So, start again. Just how good are the athletes and the coaches at and the Harriers? Well, personally, I think my son, Blade Ashby, is very good. Thomas, not so good. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> They're going to think I'm, I may have put you up to that. Has the club ever enjoyed international success with any of its athletes? I really cannot tell. Yes. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie. Oh, Katie. And Michael. Yeah? Yes, Katie and Michael. <laughs> oh, okay. um, where do you see the athletes, uh, or the particularly good ones, in a few years' time? Doing the Olympics, doing the Commonwealth Games. But my answer meant to be full. I, I, I could see the, the kids, the, the, the potential ones, doing the, the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games, international. Right. Um, do you think track and field became more popular during the Olympic year? No, I don't think so. I think it became more popular before the Olympic year. Well, um... That's going to have a lot of cut, cuts in it. Thank you, son. Oh, at what age can uh, people join from? I think people can join from any age, from the age of three, five, seven. It depends on what age the parents wants to take them in. Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much, Earl. Thank you, son. <laughs> thank you, son. Blade is my son. <laughs>